ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತಗೆ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುದ್ಧ ಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ರಾಮ ಆನ್ ದ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇ ಟು ಅಯೋಧ್ಯ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೀತಾ ಆಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸುಗ್ರೀವಾ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾನರ ವಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿಭೀಷಣ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಏರಿಯಲ್ ಚಾರಿಯಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪುಷ್ಪಕ ಆನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ವೇ ಹಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಭರದ್ವಾ ದ ಹರ್ಮಿಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ seeking to know the welfare of people at ayodhya there while he was being treated by the sage bharadwaja rama called upon hanuman to go to ayodhya and on the way to inform guha at the shringiberapura as well scout with bharata regarding his mindset and give him the required suitable information regarding the return of rama along with sita and lakshmana when he beheld ayodhya that descendant of raghu of rapid step full of magnanimity gave himself up to pleasant thoughts and having reflected a while that fortunate and illustrious hero said to the monkey hanuman as an with all speed to ayodhya o foremost of monkeys and azartain if all are happy in the royal palace Passing Shringavira, communicate with Guha, king of the Nishadas, who dwells in the wooded country, and offer him my salutations. When he hears that I am safe and well, freed from all anxieties, he will be content, for he is my second self and my friend. He will gladly show you the way to Ayodhya and give you tidings of Bharata. do yourself enquire of bharata as to his well being and inform him that i have written with my consort sita and lakshmana my mission accomplished tell him of sita's objection by the ruthless ravana of my meeting with sugriva and the death of wali in combat and how i set out to find maithili and how you did discover her having crossed the great waters of the domain of the unchangeable lord of rivers tell him of our arrival on the shores of the sea the appearance of sagara and how the causeway was constructed how ravana perished of the boons bestowed on me by mahendra brahma and varuna and by the favor of mahadeva the meeting with my father dasharatha inform bharata o oh my friend that i am coming accompanied by king vibhishana and the lord of the monkeys sugriva say to him having overcome the army of the enemy and attained a glory without parallel rama his purpose accomplished is approaching with his valiant friends do yourself carefully observe the expression on the face of bharata when he hears these tidings and how he comports them comports himself that means how he responds himself though will know you will know all by his gestures the colors of his face his glances and his words whose mind would not be moved by the thought of ascending an ancestral throne fulfilling all of one's dream and to a kingdom abounding in prosperity hosts of elephants horses and chariots it is quite natural for anybody in the beginning when bharata came to chitrakuta he may be of the opinion to hand over the entire kingdom and all the powers to rama because at that time he still not had he still had not tasted the uh, the uh, powers of ayodhya but now after rama forced him for the last 10 to 13 years he is enjoying the powers as a king at ayodhya will it not go into deflect him why not continue this enjoyment why to return the power to rama if the fortunate bharata wishes to reign in his own right 
then by mutual agreement let the descendant of ragu govern the entire earth so that brahma will return back to the forest and continue to live in hermitages like a pasvi on receiving these instructions hanuman born of maruta assuming human form left in all haste for ayodhya and advanced with speed like unto garuda swooping on a great serpent on which he wishes to lay hold traversing the pathway of his father the shining abode of great birds and crossing over the formidable confluence of the ganga and the yamuna he reached the city of shringavira when then the valiant hanuman sought out guha and said to him his voice ringing with joy your friend takusta the true hero who is accompanied by sita as also saumitri enquires as to your welfare having spent the fifth night of the moon with the sage bharadwaja on his request ragava has now taken leave of him and you will see him tomorrow having said this the illustrious and agile hanuman whose hair stand on end with delight rushed on regardless of fatigue thereafter he crossed the river sacred to parashurama and the valukini varuthi and gaumati and the formidable forest of sala trees also many densely populated countries and opulent cities having journeyed a great distance that foremost of monkeys came to the flowering trees that grow in the neighborhood of nandigrama and resemble those of chaitraratha the gardens of the king of the celestials there he beheld people who with their wives sons and grandsons well attired were given up to enjoyment in those pleasant surroundings thereafter at a distance of 1 league from ayodhya he observed bharata clad in black antelope skin sad emaciated wearing matted locks his limbs besmeared with dust dwelling in a hermitage afflicted on account of his brother's misfortune living on fruit and roots practicing penance self control his hair knotted dust in bark and a black antelope skin discipline pure of soul like unto a brahmarishi in radiance he having placed rama's sandals before him ruled the earth by protecting the four dash that is four varnas from every peril with the aid of his ministers and virtuous priests and senior officers also wearing the red robe surrounded surrounded him and his subjects faithful to their duty had resolved not to neglect the welfare of their king who resembling righteous itself righteousness itself seemed to be the god of dharma incarnate then hanuman paying obeisances with joint palms said to the loyal prince your brother kakusta for whose exile to the forest of dandaka in ropes of bark and matted logs you grieve you are grieving enquires as to your welfare i bring you good tidings o prince abandon your despair the moment has come when you will be reunited with your brother rama having slain ravana and recovered mightily raghava in ret- is returning from his valiant friends his purpose accomplished the mighty lakshmana too is coming and the illustrious vaidehi rama's devoted companion as shachi is to mahendra hearing hanuman's words bharata the son of kaikeyi swooned with joy felis felicity causing him to lose consciousness in a moment however the descendant of raghu bharata rose up breathing with an effort and addressed hanuman who had brought him with brought him those pleasant tidings 
deeply moved the fortunate bharata embracing the monkey bedewed him with his tears that fell from him in great drops inspired not by suffering but by joy and said where where whether you uh, i mean uh, the bharata after hearing this news though hanuman is as a complete stranger for him with a great delight of hearing the news of rama he replied hearing hanuman's words bharata the son of kaiki soon with joy felicity causing him to lose consciousness in a moment however the descendant of raghu bharata rose up breathing with an effort and addressed hanuman who had brought him those pleasant tidings deeply moved the fortunate bharata embracing the monkey bedewed him with his tears that fell from him in great drops inspired not by suffering but by joy and said whether you be god or man who has come here out of compassion for me o oh my friend i wish to bestow a gift on you for the happy tidings you have brought for me i offer you a hundred thousand cows as also a hundred prosperous villages and 16 youthful women for your consorts possessed of curls with sweet expressions golden skins shapely noses lovely ankles and gracious mind resembling the moon adorned with every kind of ornaments all of noble families hearing from the prince of monkeys of the miraculous return of rama Bharata, whose desire to behold his brother again threw him into a transport of delight, added joyfully. Thus come to the end, chapter 127 of Yudha Kanda in Ramayana. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmir Puramasini, Tomaham Prarthaye Nityam, Vidyadhananchadehime. Goodbye.